this presentation of an interesting case that I wanted to uh, share with everyone. This is a 59 year old woman who presented uh, through the emergency room in July, eight months ago, with left low extremity weakness and severe pain. Her pain was so severe she could not walk and she failed uh, pain medications, steroids, a brace. Um, uh, she had bilateral thigh pain, left low extremity weakness, two out of five motor in her hip flexors and quadriceps. Her symptoms started a week prior with groin pain. Uh, she has a history of rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, she's had previous uh, uh, lower lumbar decompression surgery, right total hip arthroplasty, bilateral total knee arthroplasty, and high blood pressure. Um, her CAT scan uh, showed uh, no fracture, no tumor. Uh, MRI scan showed a large uh, soft tissue mass directly posterior to the T T12 L1 disc base, which was consistent with disc material. And here's T11 T12, here's spinal cord T11 T12, and you see this very large uh, disc material uh, present directly posterior to the spinal cord. Um, due to her inability to walk and um, failure of non-operative treatments, I took her to the surgery where uh, she had a posterior full laminectomy infusion at that same level. And I did remove some of the disc material uh, and uh, sent it for biopsy just to make sure it was disc. Post-op, I painted an MRI scan to see, and there was still disc material present pushing on her conus although there was plenty of room posterior to the conus and the conus was draped backwards and this level was fused. Here's the axial cut at the level of the screws. You can see there's plenty of room there for the spinal cord, but then at the level of the disc, there's still some disc material, although the spinal cord now has plenty of room. So my concerns with this patient at that time were, will she neurologically improve? Well, clinically she did fantastic, her pain dramatically improved. She was walking and her weakness slowly improved over the course of six weeks. And I never saw the patient uh, for months up until today where she came, uh, actually last week, she came back and she had new onset of uh, uh, numbness. And she, the patient was concerned. So I ordered x-rays, which looked okay. And then a new MRI scan. And this is eight months post-op. And you can see here at the level of T12 L1, the disc has totally resorbed. There's like a tiny remnant right there. And the actual cut, spinal canal is wide open. So I wanted to share this because it's a very interesting uh, example of a soft tissue disc herniation and a fusion at that level, which stabilizes it. And then the disc just resorbs on its own. You can see here posteriorly, there's been a laminectomy. There's plenty of room for the spinal cord. So it's a very, uh, I felt, I felt it was a very interesting case in the course of eight months, this disc was gone. Uh, I'm curious to see if anyone else has any opinions uh, about this matter uh, and um, if they've seen it before. Personally, I think that this gets uh, uh, absorbed from um, angiogenesis and growth of uh, blood vessels into the air, which absorbs the disc. Thank you.